Yo, what is up guys? Snap here. Today we're going to be talking about our arena run we did yesterday. We ended up sitting in arena for about 10 hours. Uh, the first run went for about three hours until we crashed out of the instance and we went another eight hours and we ended up hitting rank two, which is uh, wave 2149. Now, currently this is the highest wave count that is not abusing the ghost flame bug, which is the topic of today's video. Uh, this group ahead of us at 3000, as well as almost all of the players on the solo ladder are abusing a ghost flame bug that which gives you infinite amounts of ward and damage and it's something i'm going to be showcasing to all of you today anyways here's a clip of our rip at wave 2149 and also like negative mana oh, oh shit i died i'm dead holy shit oh shit you guys died and there's two gorgons so No, dude, I ran out of mana. Now on my really min-max Plasma Orb Brewmaster, I'm doing somewhere in the realm of like, you know, two to 10 million damage uh, in a big AOE. And I'm also sitting on something like three to 500K ward, depending on how much healing I'm getting from my three supports that I'm doing. And now you might be wondering, how did an unascended level 99, another unascended level 99, and another unascended level 92 uh, pass us so hard in the leaderboards? And I'm gonna be showcasing the true bug that is carrying all of these people to wave 3000 on the arena, and that is going to be Ghost Flame. All right, and here's a quick demonstration of just how high the damage can go on this build as well as the EHP. As you can see, the Ignite here is ramping into the hundreds of thousands or even the millions. It's going to go into the billions because it has exponential scaling. And you can also see that the damage ticks here are hitting for hundreds of millions or even billions here on the dummy. Um, basically, is it an infinitely ramping ward and damage bug? This character is level 66. The name is <laughs> not bug abusing clearly, and it basically has trash gear equipped, no idols, no skill points, no nothing. So how does this bug work? And of course, it all starts with the skill Ghost Flame. The node in question here is going to be spirit kindling now this node is supposed to take a portion of your ignite chance and it's supposed to have all of your minions gain ignite chance based off of your current ignite chance now there's currently a bug where if you start your channel of ghost flame on top of a minion or the minion dies while you are channeling inside of it it will start to cause this bonus to apply to you instead of the minion now, obviously, if you have 130% of your ignite chance applying to yourself, you're going to have a ramping ignite that scales exponentially. So essentially, all you need to do to trigger the bug is to start the channel of ghost flame inside of a specter, wraith, or revenant, and then subsequently move out of the AoE of that minion or have it die. Those are the two ways of proccing the bug. So here's a quick video on how to exactly trigger the bug. So you have a blood revenant or really any minion here and you can start channeling on it right as it's about to die or you can start channeling on it and then get it out of the AOE of the ghost flame. You can see as in this demonstration, right as the blood specter is about to die, you start channeling on it and that's what triggers the bug. And as we switch over here to the ignite tab, we can see we have infinitely escalating ignite chance. Once you have the bug procced, you will see your ignite chance escalate and it will continue escalating every every half second at a 1.3 exponential scaling until your game crashes from overflow. Now, you do need to do a few things to the build to start to maintain the mana cost. One thing you can do is travel up here to grab the marrow shard nodes because there is a node on marrow shards that will give you mana back when it hits stuff. This is one way to help with the mana cost. And then on marrow shards, you come down here and grab the mana when you hit stuff with the orb. Additionally, all these nodes up here, which reduce the channel cost on Ghost Flame itself, also helps with the channel cost. And then last but not least, you can get a Fire Starter's Torch with reduced spell cost here. A T7 roll obviously is going to be best here. This also helps with the channel cost. So you have all of that stuff together to give yourself a little bit of mana back from the Marrow Shards. You have infinitely ramping Ignite from the bug. And one last thing you can do to help with the mana cost is, of course, putting on idols. There are these Immortal Idols here, which give you 14% channeling efficiency with Ghost Flame. You can slap on four of these and this also helps a ton with the mana cost as well additionally you can wear a jungle queens with a massive 40 mana gained on potion use slammed onto it i mean this gives you a big buffer of potions to use while you can look at your mana and make sure that you're never stopping channeling after you've activated the bug so now that we have billions of ignite chance we're going to equip ashes of mortality which gives us ward per ignite and damned on the target 
Um, and every time that this procs, your character is getting millions and millions of ward, literally. One last thing we need to do is actually go to the passive tree because even though we have a ton of ignite chance, the ignite actually isn't doing all that much damage. On Warlock, there are some nodes here which give you specifically ignite overload. And now ignite overload is a debuff or a buff that your character gets where you get 1% more ignite damage per ignite on the target. And so this node, Infernal Lash, is the node that is giving Warlock all of the damage from all of the ignite stacks. And this is the thing that's causing the hundreds and two hundreds, one billion damage numbers to pop out of the ghost flame while you're channeling it. So now you have infinite damage and you're generating tens of millions of ward. And the last thing you need to do is, of course, get a little bit of ward retention. And all you need to do is throw on frostbite shackles, get some cold res, alley res, whatever on your gear um, so that you can maintain that ward retention. We can have a quick look over here on Tunk Labs. We can see I've just put about a thousand ward retention in here. And let's look at the ward when we go to like 10 million ward. Tunk Lab, unfortunately, only goes to 10 million ward. And after about 30 30 seconds, you still have about 1.5 million of that ward left. And so what you can do is you can set a timer on a macro or something like that. So you can channel for the precise amount of time before your game crashes. And then you can simply restart the channel to restart the ramp. And you have enough ward retention so that you're actually never in danger in between the arena waves. And you can use that to push infinite arena waves as long as you're able to stay awake, of course. So yeah, in case you're curious, kind of like what all of the warlocks on the arena ladder are doing, it's going to look something like this. Uh, you're just going to have infinitely ramping ignite. As you can see here, it's going tens of millions, tens of millions, 30 million, 40 million, 50 million, and then also so take a quick look at his ward bar. He's going to start to get so much ward that each health bar or ward bar is ticking over in mere fractions of a second as it continues to ramp. And then one last time, you can kind of see here some extra numbers on the dummy as well as how long you can actually maintain the channel costs in between channels. Yeah, this is definitely quite a funny bug. It's funny seeing all the really crazy numbers you can put up with the uh, ignites overflowing. There is one challenge with the build, of course, and that is just maintaining the instance and not crashing. That is the main challenge that you're up against when playing this build. There's probably some pretty clever ways to maintain your ignite stacks because you can drain your current ignite stacks by actually hitting a minion that is affected by kindling with the ghost flame. Additionally, if you hit other party members with the ghost flame, it starts to give those kindling stacks to them instead of you. And so there's a few ways that you can kind of fudge the numbers a little bit and try to keep it at a certain number. But overall, I think the best way to probably abuse a bug like this, especially for pushing ladder, is to just set a timer, stop channeling, make sure you're fully ramped down. You still have millions and millions of ward left in your EHP pool from before, and you can use that ward pull to try and ramp up again for the next one. Yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I just kind of wanted to showcase this warlock bug uh, for all of you guys just so you can kind of see what everybody on the ladder is doing. A lot of the people that are abusing this bug are kind of unequipping their gear, trying to like obfuscate a lot of this technology from everybody because they don't want people to know what they're doing. Listen, but I see everything. Okay, you cannot hide anything from me. But yeah, that's about, that's about it, guys. If you have any questions or anything about the bug, anything like that, uh, you can feel free to leave in the comments. I try to answer you guys as best I can. And I think that about concludes our last Epoch season. I want to thank you guys all for watching. It's been a lot of fun. And we'll definitely be seeing you guys next season as well as the new PoE League start that's happening in late March. I'm going to be off for a bit. But anyways, thanks, guys. This is Snap, and thanks for watching.